The history of Avoda dance began 40 years ago. Our mission is really great. It's based on a Jewish value, and that is in Hebrew called tikkun olam, and that means to repair the world. And so we really look at that as how can we use dance to heal our little section of the world, our community, and the people we come in contact with. We also look at how Avoda can bring dance to underserved communities, people that are not usually exposed to dance. And we also want to see how Avoda can build a community. So is there a way that we can use dance to help us all feel more connected? We do a lot of work with women in prison, and that has been going on since 2002. Bringing them a, a group of people, of artists, and creating a space where they can be dancers for a week and just forget about where they are and become free and connect with their bodies. Because inside, like, you're obviously not allowed to touch people, you're not really allowed to move a lot, you're very confined. Um, and then on top of it, you're wearing like baggy clothes, you don't feel like a woman. So bringing them the experience of dance, it really helps them see themselves in a new light. And we just focus on dance together. We're a dance company for the week and we're all engaged full on. You gotta see people dance and move that I never would have expected to ever. It was like a breath of fresh air. What we're doing is not just dance related. You know, a lot of the women in Avoda dance residencies tell us that they find the residency to be really healing. We've even heard people say, oh, they really feel like the dancing gives them confidence. And so then they feel confident when they leave. And we also do a lot of work with synagogues and rabbinical students and students in any faith-based tradition that is looking at text. We offer dance and movement as a way to study text. Also another Jewish value is to really engage with text and to become very empowered in the way you engage with text. So even in preschool, we're offering ways that they can look at the stories and dance the stories and make their own decisions and come up their, with their own questions about text. You know, a lot of people think dance is like this extra, or they think the arts are extra. But I really think if you, if you look at all babies and toddlers and children, they're just natural dancers, natural musicians, natural singers, and the joy that it brings to them. And then if you go beyond that and see the joy that it brings to all people, you realize it's not really extra because a world without dance, a world without art, would be a world that people wouldn't want to live in. The fact that everyone has the access can have the access to this, these art forms is a very important message, especially for our time, I think, when, when it is becoming more difficult to squeeze out that time and squeeze out that joy, it's a very important time to dance.